Hey guys, it's Elizabeth and this is day 28 of my 90 day tougher challenge. Today has been an absolute beating. Can't wait to tell you all the great details. Um, so this morning, Shayla texted me and reamed me for having chicken nuggets for breakfast. And I explained to her I've been sick for two days and haven't been able to go to the grocery store and needed to buy some breakfast after I dropped the kids off to school on my way to the grocery store before I go work out at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she encouraged me and said I really shouldn't have um, so many carbs in the morning because I had a fruit cup with it too. And um, so I'm going to try to make better choices for breakfast this week. And, uh, or at least for the rest, for the next week. She's challenging me to do that. Then I got to the gym and um, I knew I had to be there for two hours. I had no idea what was in store for me, and oh my gosh, it was a beating. I ended up, um, it was semi-private training with Shayla and two other girls. One of them was Stacy Sick, the former 90-day um, person, and another good friend of mine. And so we were all three working out together with Shayla. And for those of you who go to boot camp regularly, we had to do the deck of cards today. Let me explain that to you. She writes on a board and she says, diamonds equal this exercise, hearts are this exercise, so on and so forth. And then like um, jacks, kings, jack, queen, king, ace are all a different exercise and then also jokers. So it included exercises like burpees, my total favorite, um, wall squats, um, treadmill, just all kinds of different exercises lots of um, upper body stuff so um, steps where you have to step up on that box thing with anyway so and then what you do is you draw a card and if it says eight of hearts then you have to do eight reps of that particular exercise if you draw a face card that's 25 reps of that exercise <laughs> so um, yeah it was I w it was a tough day and I ended up working out for just about two and a half hours with Shayla and I burned 1,083 calories. So it was a good workout, but oh my gosh, I mean, seriously, it's, I think it was like the hardest workout I've ever had, seriously. Um, Stacy ended up staying with me until I finished to cheer me on. I mean, I seriously like felt like Rocky at the end because <laughs> it was so hard. But it was a really good workout and I felt so accomplished. I told Shayla afterwards, thank you for pushing me and just encouraging me to finish so I could have that sense of accomplishment and just knowing that I did well. So, and then she said, go home and carb up because that's, that's when your body is burning the most carbs is after a good workout. So let me tell you what I have for lunch because this is a really good post-workout recipe that Shayla shared with me. Um, take a baked potato and just pop it in the microwave until it's the softness that you like. And then I put a quarter cup of black beans that I rinsed off, um, three ounces of diced chicken, um, a quarter cup of low fat cheese, I think mine was Colby Jack, and some salsa. And so um, a really, really good, good carb meal. I ended up cutting my baked potato in half though because one potato just was too many calories for me and too much, too many carbs. Um, and then I thought, oh, this is so good. Surely a little tablespoon of sour cream, light sour cream, and um, Smart Balance Better will not kill me. And so I added that to my baked potato and then I got in trouble for it later. So I'm, I'm learning. It's a learning process and I don't. I don't want to waste the effort that I made in the gym by making poor choices later. So another thing I learned after a hard workout like that is to really have a good stretch immediately following your workout and then another one later on in the day. So I'm about to do that now because I'm starting to hurt again. Followed by lots and lots of water. So I've had pretty much double my water today. So about 16 um, 8 ounce servings of water. So pretty good. Um, another thing, I feel like Shayla, my sweet trainer, is turning into a drill sergeant today. She's all over me. I'm at the grocery store and she's all, what are you buying? Take a picture of this. Make me, let me make sure it's the right one. 
And then um, this afternoon, she's like, have you had your snack yet? Tell me when you have your snack. I want to see a picture of it. <laughs> so it's, it's funny. It's all good. I love her so much. And I'm so, so grateful for everything she's doing to help me be successful. I'm just having to keep myself in check that I don't let my little strong will bow up at her. So anyway, um, a really, really good day today. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the scale says tomorrow. Um, no matter what, it was still a good day. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Take care.